when we divide numbers, the number we are dividing cannot be equally distributed among the given sets. So we have remainders. We are now going to solve some questions with remainders. The first example is 14 divided by 5. The second number is the number of sets, so we make 5 sets. And now we are going to distribute the number 14. So each set should get equal number of balls or things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everyone has 1. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everyone got the second ball. Now, 11, 12, 13, 14. If I give these 4 sets the third ball, this set does not have the third ball. It only has 2. And this is unequal distribution. So, we cannot give these 4 sets the third ball also and we are going to remove it from there. So this ball here cannot be given to these four sets. We are going to have remainders. These four balls are going to be remainders because if we distribute them, it's going to be unequal distribution. And division means equal distribution. So each set should have the same number of objects. The set size should be equal. 14 divided by 5. The answer is 2. Each set has 2. The remainder is 4 balls or 4 objects. 10 divided by 3. We are going to make 3 sets. We are now going to distribute the number 10 equally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, if you look carefully, this set has 4 objects. This set has 3, this set has 3. If we give the first set the fourth object, it's going to be unequal and unfair for these two sets. So now the answer is going to be 10 divided by 3 equals 3 because each set has 3 balls and the remainder is 1. That's the one object that's remaining. We could not distribute it because it would make the division unequal. We are now going to solve problem sums that have remainders. Normally these problem sums will have the word remain or left. Let's read the first one. Sarah has 19 coins to put in two charity boxes equally. How many coins will she put in each box? How many will remain? When we see how many will remain, it means that there are going to be some remainders and we need to be very careful when we are distributing. So, we make sure the distribution is equal. The question is 19 divided by 2 because there are two charity boxes. So we draw the two charity boxes here. Now we are going to distribute the number 19 equally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If I give 19 coin here, it's going to be unequal because we don't have another coin for this box. So the 19th coin is going to be here. We need to check if the distribution is equal and if both the boxes have equal, equal number of coins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these two boxes have 9 coins each and there is one coin that is the remainder. 9 and the remainder is 1. Let's solve the second question. Pass 30 cards among 4 adults equally. How many will each adult get? How many cards will be left? So the question is 30 divided by 4. 
and we need to find out how many cards each adult is going to get and how many are going to remain. And now we need to distribute 30 equally. Five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. I don't have thirty-one and thirty-two to give to these two people, so I cannot give the first two people the cards as well. So there are two cards that are remaining. We distribute it equally, and when we are distributing, we make sure each one gets one. When we came to twenty-eight here. 29 and 30 but these two don't have a card to get so we need to take these two cards that we have and we need to put them here because these are remaining these are the ones that cannot be distributed and if we give them the adults these cards it's going to be unfair and it's going to be unequal. So the answer to this question is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seven cards and the remainder is two cards so the two cards are remaining the farmer has to give away 13 apples to his five horses so we have 13 apples and we have five horses how many apples will each horse get how many will remain so we are going to draw the five horses and now we are going to distribute the 13 apples we need to make sure we are distributing them equally one two three four five everyone gets one six seven eight nine ten again everyone gets the second apple now we are already at 10 11 12 13 these two don't have the third apple so we cannot give the first three horses, the third apple, and we need to erase that. So these three apples are going to be the remainder. So each horse is going to get two apples and the remaining apples are going to be three.